et bonjour à toutes et à, à, à tous. Uh, good afternoon to you all. And uh, as has been said, uh, there's never been a more important time to raise awareness of anti-doping and the spirit of play, fair play in sport. That's why the IPC is proud to partner with WADA at this, the biggest gathering of international swimmers since London 2012, featuring nearly 500 swimmers from close to 60 countries. I'm delighted to be joined by David and some of the world's greatest swimmers and uh, who have achieved greatness through a great deal of grit and determination. The IPC fully supports WADA's view that the long-term solution to preventing doping is through effective education programs that can foster anti-doping behaviors and create a strong anti-doping culture. This is an issue which is obviously our core activity, stopping doping in sport. And the program that we have introduced, which we call Say No to Doping, is one that we have asked the federations, the international bodies around the world to pick up. And the IPC has not only picked it up, it has carried it forward in such an important way that the message is not only being delivered to the athletes who are here and carried on by them, but also the spectators and those who see these athletes. We at WADA have a lot of issues on our table at the moment, and Sir Philip and I were talking about them earlier. The sophisticated doper, the ways in which people are cheating, the waves of positive tests that have come out over the last few weeks, the very bad impression that members of the athlete entourage are giving by encouraging athletes to cheat and so on. And we are dealing with these in many ways. And one of the key ways is what Sir Philip was saying, education. It's, it's, it's a game. Swimming is a game. We do this for fun. It's about winning, it's about losing, but it's, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. We're trying, to be, we're trying to be better, but the most important thing is trying to be a better person, the best person you can be, and that's how you can influence the people around you, and that's how you make a difference. And I think people have to keep that in mind. It's about, it's just a game, it's about team spirit, and having a better attitude is more important than being the fastest in the water, I believe. We're trying to maintain our body and mind 100% for that job because it's our job, but it's funny too. And we need to enjoy it. Just that it's not worth it. You know, it's not, it's not worth it to, to cheat in this, in this sport. And, and it is a game. It is, it is for fun. We're all here because we ultimately love to swim. And I know personally, I, I couldn't imagine living with myself if I knew that I was if I was cheating to get to where I want to be. I think by, giving, by, by working hard and, and training for it, it it's really going to be the most rewarding for the person. You keep up, up to the minute by having a very strong partnership with WADA and also by having a, a competent, highly competent, in our case, small anti-doping uh, uh, department section within the IPC that does incredible work. Sport is about fun. It can be pretty serious at times and serious fun. But if you can keep that ethic in mind and not make it just a job, but you, how boring is that? And if you can maintain all these other aspects of what the values of true sport are all about, the vast majority of people never even entertain taking drugs. 